just for confirmation we need to get this ring out anyway so it's not a part of the bearing it's just uh, some sort of a spacer bearing part so take it out as well we already removed these two bolts this fork needs to be removed as well it's also a size 13 This will need some prying to get off. Just uh, use one screwdriver over there, one over here, and pry it off like so. That's the clip. Next, there should be a ring holding this in place. I think I can feel it. It's quite oily in here, so I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel and try to get as much of the oil out so I can see it. It's a, a snap ring. I'm gonna show it to you guys real quick. So need to zoom out. So I guess you can see it. It's in there. Um, the snap ring we need to get that out and You would need an extra pair of hands. Or a special pair of pliers. You can buy special pliers to do this kind of job. This should work as well. Yep, that's one side. Just gently pry it out. That's it. So this is our snap ring. And next, uh, I don't know. I'm going to check. Okay, so now this block should be able to detach from the lower half. I'm going to remove the mounting bracket. Uh, you'll need a Torx bit. This is a size 50. If you have a bit, you can use an impact wrench or a, a wrench like this. But I don't have bits that size, so I just uh, use an old trick. And I do it like this. That's one. And two. 
unscrew the bolts. There's one over here as well. So three bolts. Now we have access to these two bolts as well. They were obscured. So that's a whole lot of bolts to undo right now. Some pressure. Just work your way around. On this side there is two uh, bolts which have a, a piece of stud on it. Um, I'm just going to use a 13 mil ring spanner. No, it's not 13. It's 10 millimeter. Mm, 11. Yeah, it's 11 millimeter. If you have air tools, this job will go a lot faster. So the entire gearbox is sealed with uh, RTV. So uh, there shouldn't be a seal uh, anywhere on the mating surfaces. <coughs> so all you need to get is the, the rebuild kit off of eBay and the two uh, nuts we removed earlier. And I didn't know about that, but I will go to the garage and, and order some new ones. Okay, that should be all. So there's quite a bit of them around the entire surface. They're all the same size, all the same threads to them, so you can note their position, but I don't think it really matters. I'm going to Put these over here so I have room for my other stuff that uh, needs to get removed. Okay, so check real quick if I have all the bolts I need. Um, seems like it because there is one on the side here as well. I think it's uh, the The one over here, by the way, this is a the, the this is not the fill plug because you fill the gearbox through the breather. But if you remove this plug, uh, the excess oil or, or what's too much will drain out, and then you have the perfect filling if the car is level on the ground. That's its purpose. Unfortunately, weirdly enough, it's not mentioned in any manual. They just say drain it completely and refill it. Um, Try to find somewhere you can pry without damaging the mating surfaces, uh, which can be hard. So that's a good spot over here. And there's one over here. Yep. Can I use 
this as well. Yep, a little bit of frying. There's a, an alignment pin over here in the back and one over here. So the, the those might give some trouble removing the two halves if they're stuck. So okay, that's all loose. This bit isn't. Don't know if that's normal or not. So I'm thinking this one bolt over here is giving me some trouble. Yes, you need to remove it. So I'm gonna show it to you guys. I overlooked it in the on the manual, but so this is the one over here. You need to remove that bolt as well. So I'm gonna do this right now. need to pay it extra attention to stuff like that where did I put the piece so, that's not a size 11 that's uh, most likely a size 13 13 yeah 13 and that's it now we should be able to get this thing out as you can see it's quite a long bolt so uh, yeah take that out as well and try prying it off again hopefully it didn't damage anything ah uh, that's much better it seems like it's completely separated uh, give this one Let's see. Looks like I'm still forgetting something. But what could it be? Coming off. Ah, okay, so it needs to be kept into place. And that's the housing. So I ch did chip one tooth over here, unfortunately. I don't think it'll be a big deal. Anyways. So, next up, uh, something interesting over here, there is a, a magnet inside, <laughs> it's full of medical, metal particles, just really full of them, um, I guess it's, this is quite normal, I'm not too sure, um, the teeth, the teeth, do look still okay or, or whatever well 
we'll have to inspect them once we get everything out. There's uh, a lot of black goo on, on the, the parts so anyways we need to clean everything up properly as you can see this used to be <laughs> this is something brass and it's all black with age oil, aged oil and anything so we're gonna clean it out and get everything nice and tidy again so like I said I had no bearings uh, there's one over here this is a bearing uh, It's shot, I believe. <laughs> um, there's one over here, this is a big one. Just should be somewhere in the center, should be so one. We'll see later on. So this one isn't too bad. There's not much play on it. It's a good sign. Uh, ah, here, here is the magnet. I'm gonna try and get it out. No, I'm gonna wait with it. I'm gonna do it once everything's out. We have two nuts, steak nuts, one over here, and one over here. This is uh, the synchro mesh and the fork that selects the gear. I believe this is uh, fifth gear. Um, this one is a size 28, 